the brightest Leave your worries all behind The perfect world is in the palm of the hands The way to brightness of all the grand stadia in world football, none more impressive than this. A very warm welcome to all of you from the San Siro in Milan. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now, and I'm eager for the action to start. best equipped for this game well there's an obvious playmaker on show and that's Honda good vision a stylish left foot a dead ball specialist and, and all backed up by a high work rate that's actually often overlooked yes getting the best out of him will count for so much for a moment you felt that was going somewhere but they'll have to go again Pauli, lofted into the middle, and that should be the keepers. Come back. This game is in need of some excitement, it needs help and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Fernando Gargo. That's a throw. Yeah, the defence had him exactly where they wanted him there. It didn't even give him the space or, or the room to turn. And I think if they can keep him facing the other way, then his threat becomes a much lesser issue. Honda. Cuts it out. Milan going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Honda to get it forward quickly, Carlos Baca. It's Bonaventura! Clears it out of harm's way, and the volley. What a rocket! That is special! Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order. Unbelievable. And Milan have the lead. Oh, a goal of real quality. He made it look ridiculously easy. Look, volleys can be worked on and improvements can be made, but in the moment, it takes timing and balance to catch the perfect spot on the ball to produce brilliance like that. That is absolutely magnificent. Milan take the lead. 
Well, let's put him in the driving seat, but there's a lot of football left in this one yet, believe me. Polly. Thrust towards the front line. Honda. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Cross from Polly. He's there to get rid. And there's the end of the first half. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Milan, they're in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. Off we go once more. Well, 1 0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spot. Really well taken goal. A two goal cushion, and it's looking safe. He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Montalivo just knew instinctively where the ball was going to end up. That's clearly been worked on on the training ground, and the understanding is, is pretty exceptional between them, and it was beautifully worked. Milan got themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Pauli tried to play it through. Look, if he wants that ball to make it, then he has to pass it with a bit more zip. I think he knew as soon as it left his boot, it was going to be cut out. Just lacked a little more power. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. They are running riot! Surely now, beyond all doubt. Milan take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Fernando Gago. And it's Baca. Carlos Baca passes it through. Now the cross. And back out it comes. Struck first time. Now that was quite some save. He knows very well he can score from that distance. Not quite this time. It's an in! And oh! Carlos Baca. Tremendous from Carlos Baca! They are running riot here! Well, that always looked the likely outcome. 
It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserved to. Milan totally rampant here. Fernando Gargo. Gargo goes wide. Has a pop! What about it? Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Yeah, I've got great admiration for the finish, but I've even more admiration for the pass that set it up. It was delicious. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. He's made sure that that won't get through. Where to from here? Gets into some space. Time to deliver. Forward it goes. Spoon forward Back to the keeper and try something new. Fence has got rid of that. And that's that. Milan, very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they got on the ball, they looked like scoring. It is a landslide. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Listen, there was a real concentration on wider attacking outlets and they got their tactics spot on. They found a vulnerability and played on it to the full. It was clever and superbly executed. Another point I can make is that the foundations for this win were placed near both touchlines because they were able to build attack after attack with little resistance. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you.